here we are again. Natalie, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Jesse. I feel like I'm in another world because I've been on vacation and I'm back in another time zone, but ready to roll. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. This is Jesse Bowen with Elite Publications and the Becoming Author podcast here with my co-host, Natalie McQueen and Gifts of Legacy. Now, we've been really working over the past year, uh, really of focusing in on uh, our publishing locations, the ones we're doing for ourselves, the ones we've been doing for others and trying to grow and develop you know, our brand in the publishing uh, uh, business and helping others to be able to learn the power of their story. They're sitting on a gold mine and with the information that will help someone else, uh, what is their you know, biography, where is their uh, memoir or any type of book, children's book, you know, whatever, we can help you to be able to turn it into reality and to be able to market your book. So Natalie, what's been going on? I know you've been on vacation. Any big things happen? Oh my gosh. It, it was fantastic. It was such a busy time. Uh, we went to Canada where, uh, in Ontario, where I grew up and we literally covered half of Ontario in miles, I think. Uh, we had weddings, we had family gatherings. I got to wrap my arms around my 104 year old grandmother and take her for lunch and just spend some time. And that was, that was incredible. Um, she is just beyond like, I look at her and, and this is so cute. I think when you hit 104, you don't have any rules anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we went out for lunch. We come in the restaurant and there's a great big sign right there. And it says, please wait to be seated. And my grandma had been to that restaurant multiple times with other relatives and she's got her walker and she runs right past that sign and picks out the table she wants to sit at. And so I was kind of looking around and the waitress looked at us and I said, I think we're going to sit here. Is that good? She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the benefits. When you hit 100, 100 plus, rules don't apply. <laughs> well, but that yeah. is awesome. That yeah. is really awesome. That's legacy. You know, that's a, that's a story you put in your diary. I know you have all the journals and things you do. That's a good story to put in your journal. So we have all these things that's happening to us every day of our lives, of some form of sharing legacy and some form of a memory book. So that's the next phase we're going to be focusing on. You know, starting now is helping people create smaller books, which are the memory books. So a memory book, you know, it doesn't have to be up on Amazon. It can, you know, just like in the story that Natalie was just sharing a few moments ago. In a memory book, you can put that type of story. So if you say, well, becoming an international best-selling author, you know, I don't, I, there's no way I can believe that. But to create a memory book or a journal, you know, that's something that's really easy to do because with a memory book, it can be in your words. Again, it doesn't have to be up on Amazon. These could be your personal books that you give out to family and friends that shares your story. You know, uh, uh, tell where did you come from? Who are you? Who are you, who are your family members? So that type of book is a perfect book. I've been busy. You know, we released the uh, cookbook, Elite Black Belts Who Cook, big success, uh, bestseller. Uh, you know, a guy was down in Houston, Texas. And guess what I received in Houston? Yes, I heard. Holy, so it doesn't disappear. <laughs> but, uh, there you go. There we go. I received an award. And this was the International Black Belt uh, Hall of Fame 2023 Publisher of the Year Award. So uh, I was really excited about that. So all the work we've been doing, publishing for martial artists, working in the martial arts community, uh, not only with our biography books, but helping other martial artists publish their books, design their websites. So it's really been a, a great year for everyone. 
And you know, let's not forget helping them to be able to monetize their books uh, by becoming you know best-selling authors and the continual program. So, you know, our program today, I thought it would be good. I am gearing up all my marketing endeavors for the holiday. You know, it is here, and I don't want to be the last person to get started. Everyone is out looking for those special gifts. So, you know, you remember, go to our website, uh, elitepublications.org, and that's www.elitepublications.org. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, check out our book selections. Uh, in that. So now let's kick off. So if I'm going to want to start my Christmas marketing for my book, so tell me, what should I do? What's some of the first well, things I should do? I want to backtrack a little bit. Two things that you brought up. First of all, congratulations on the award. That's fantastic. Our award, our award. <laughs> yes, it takes a, it takes a village and a team to accomplish things, but yes, it, it, that's an amazing feat. But the other thing is, one of the other things I did while I was in Canada was a family reunion. And so we had a huge potluck. Everyone brought in their favorite recipe or a recipe that they love to share. Maybe some were passed down. And that's when I said, we need to like get a book together in our own family and put it together. And so it was so fun being in the um, the martial arts cookbook. And I shared that with them. And that really, they all loved that idea. So in thinking about the holiday season, everyone's getting ready to do their, you know, their big turkey dinners for Thanksgiving, all their uh, holiday cookies or whatever special things that your family shares together. Let's talk about doing a special cookbook for just your family and have it up on Amazon so everyone can buy it and it's not a big deal for anyone. And what a great way to be able to gift your family's recipes to your friends and other, you know, other people. So oh, yeah. that's here. great. That's what we did with this particular cookbook, uh, Elite Black Belts Who Cook. We thought it was just a good idea for martial artists to do it. And it turned out to be just a great experience. You know, uh, you and I have a recipe together in there. You did all the work, you know, but I'm <laughs> the black belt. So, you know, so and it was a successful book. And people are our co-authors are now uh, ordering their books, setting up their book signings. And this is this is one of the reasons why we really wanted to focus on marketing so they could get some tips on how to be able to market their cookbook or any book they've written or co-authored in. Uh, so this would go for you know, full authors or co-authors, the things that we want to share today. But it was just so much fun and bringing that together and watching it all happen. And not only did we produce a uh, cookbook. We produced a great looking cookbook. It's a great, it's a beautiful cookbook. So anyone, if you are out there and you've been thinking about putting, bringing together your family recipes or your recipes, or if you want to do a church project or school project, a cookbook is, yes, it's a great thing to do. And we can help you be able to do it. So remember, give us a call, check out the website again, www. Uh, uh, ElitePublications.org. I almost forget the name of the company. That's right. not good. <laughs> well, and there's a lot of dates coming up. You know, uh, shopping dates. There's a lot of specials in during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. I love Giving Tuesday, and it's a way that we can honor people that are pointing to other agencies often uh, nonprofits that are doing good things. And so why not, you know, sell copies of your book and donate a portion of your book to one of your favorite uh, nonprofits and highlight that nonprofit. So you're giving them some exposure. You know, this is the time of year that we open our wallets to, giving and helping other families and uh, agencies deliver 
whether it's food, clothing, get, uh, holiday gifts, um, but make your own uh, gift specials and put your book up there and then, you know, give a donation towards what you think is important. So it's kind of a win-win. Well, that's one of the projects that we're working on now, you know, with this award that I just received, Grandmaster Chuck Norris received an award at the same event, along with Grandmaster Bill Wallace. So, you know, Grandmaster Norris has the Kickstart organization, a nonprofit organization. And so one of the books that we featured with him on the cover and Grandmaster Wallace, we're going to do that. So we're going to, you know, when you buy the Chuck Norris book, we're going to give you the Bill Wallace book and a, a percentage of that sale will actually be going to uh, the NARS organization and to our AMAA Future Leaders Scholarship Fund. So that's right. one of the marketing things that we're going to do. And you're right, Natalie, if I wanted to get publicity, then that is a great way to you know do something with my book of giving back to the community. Yep. And the, the amazing thing about talking about it is even though I know who Chuck Norris is and um, what he's done as far as martial arts, I don't know much about his nonprofit. So what if I wanted to donate to his? So by you having your special with the book highlights what he's doing and makes his nonprofit visible for other people to donate to. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you want to do. And another thing you can do is create online ads. So the holidays coming up, you know, you want to create your graphics about your book that makes it special that you can promote through online ads. So you have all your social media platforms. If your book is up on uh, Amazon, they have a marketing plan. Uh, we have outside marketing plans that go beyond that. And you may be saying, well, I have a book. It was a, it was a job writing my book. Now it's out there. Now I got to do all this marketing stuff. Well, mm -hmm. if you want your book to sell, if you want people to read your book, because what happens, Natalie, what over 4,000 books are launched today okay. on Amazon. So where do you want your book? If you think your book is important to you, you must continue to market your book. So when you're marketing your book, you're now... Uh, gaining that revenue, that opportunity for people to buy your book. They need to know where to go and get it. Amazon is good. But, you know, is your book, is it at Barnes & Noble or is it on their online site? Right. Books a million. How will people know about how to get a copy of your book? So the more that you can put it out there and market it, and you really have to do that. And this is where, again, you know, with elite publications and gifts of legacy, this is where, you know, we're we're doing this every day. If you feel that you're uncertain you can do this, then let us know and we can build a marketing plan, you know, for your, you know, for you. Right. The other thing, too, is sometimes when you just point to Amazon or like you said, those are great places to sell your book. But if you are an author that is serious about getting exposure for your book, then you should have a landing page website that showcases you as the author. Here's your book. If there's an upcoming book or coming soon, um, that should be something that is a small investment, but can pay you over time. And you actually get bigger royalties that way because you're not giving Amazon or the others as much. So talk about um, if that's not an option for you and your book is on Amazon, if you self-publish, then get in there and really look at your keywords and your SEO and make sure that it's getting in front of the right people. If you're not sure what any of that means and don't want to, <laughs> come talk to us <laughs> and we can overlook and make sure that your books um, being um, placed in the correct categories that will 
drive to the key readers that you want to connect with? Well, that's very true. And that's a job. And Natalie, you know, I really commend you. And you know, I had to work on the cookbook or you know, finding keywords and search. And that's a job. It really <laughs> is. Yeah. And it can change in a day because you can have your keywords and everything like ready to roll. And then 5,000 books are published the next day. And guess what? Your, your book can be kind of knocked out or bumped lower and stuff. So it really is a job. But here's the thing. If you are consistent at it, you're getting in front of, um, you know, podcasters, getting your website out there, talking about your book. Um, one of the things that we've done in a previous podcast, so I'll just do it briefly, is make short one to two minute videos of the top 10 things about your book or about you and your company that people should know and then answer the top 10 questions that you get about your business or, you know, whatever your, your business helps those type of situations and just drop them and then drop your book link drop them out there like once a day, once every second day. And that consistency will get you way more uh, visibility than, you know, doing one thing for three hours and that's it. So really short and sweet is, is a great way. Well, and another thing that you really have to do that's very important is get reviews. You know, getting people talking about your book. If someone buys your book, encourage them to go and give a review on your book. Now, if your book is a good book, you don't have to say, well, give me a positive review. You know, if you got a good book, you don't want negative reviews, but you really want to make sure you have a well done book when you're getting reviews. So having someone review uh, your book is a really a critical uh, part of the publishing game because for myself, I know when I'm getting ready to, to even go out to dinner uh, and I'm going to a restaurant I haven't been to before, I look at the reviews and yep. that's going to, if I see that they've got a lot of bad reviews, I'm not going to go there. You know, if they've got good reviews, I'm going to go there with high expectations. And that's the same thing about your book. If other people are saying, wow, this is a great book, uh, very informative and they lead, maybe they list things that make your book different than other books they've read in the same category. So getting a review, your reviews on your book that goes to social media, uh, reviews on your book that go to your website. Uh, if you have a book out there, get someone to do a uh, testimony about your book, you know, a video testimony and then post that, share that. I know we had great success with Cynthia Rothrock. We released her book and she did a you know testimonial promotion on the book and she shared it uh, you know with her group uh, uh, with you know thousands and thousands of people that follow her. And so you want to be able to do that. So get the review, get people talking about your book, you know, and make sure you put the buy link for your book. <laughs> right. You know, uh, you know, I see so many people, even when they share our books and I go, you know, thank you for sharing, but please put the buy link. You know, that's, yeah. you know, you leave the buy link is like you didn't really share it. It's something like I call it the ego thing. You know, you know, put the link there that people can actually get a copy of your book. Yeah, that's great advice. And the other thing is if if they bought it say you had a back of the room table and they bought it there, not through Amazon, then they can't really leave a review on Amazon, but here's what they can do. They can do exactly what you said, make a quick video, but if they don't want to do a video, get them to write out a review, then make it into a social picture and post that out with the link to buy. So there's so many ways the other thing is make sure your Amazon author page is up to date and fill in the editorial area and you can put um, reviews there. And if you really want to spice it up, 
come and talk to us about that because we have a team that can make custom pictures, custom quotes, and different editorial um, pieces that will make your book shine and stand out against the other books, even in your genre. And that's the next point I want to talk about is if someone else has, say you have a book on uh, dog care, then look at the other people that are serving dogs. Partner together and, you know, your dog's got to eat. You're not making dog food. So talk to the person that is making dog food and see if your book is a good fit in their store, on their website. And then maybe you can say something about their dog food on your site, you know, partner with people that are serving the same audience. Well, and that's really key. Uh, you know, we look at uh, affiliate partners, you know, yeah. find someone that, that, uh, that has a following and, you know, you can go online and sign up and have your own affiliate program. And for an example, if they put a link on their website, they can get anywhere from 10 to 20% of the sale by putting a link on their website. So when they someone clicks the link, it redirects them to your store. They buy the book, then the affiliate partner, they create revenue. So mm -hmm. an affiliate program is a great way for anyone to create revenue. If you've got a list and you will promote that person's book and they have an affiliate a link and affiliate program, then you can create uh, revenue from that. Uh, <clears throat> also, uh, look at a, get going to bookstores. Will they take your book on a consignment? Will they allow you to come in and set up a book signing in their store? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, that's just a base ways. If you're traveling and I have a lot of my martial arts friends that go to the martial arts tournaments, so, and they have books, you know, you know, have us, we can build or you can build yourself a vertical banner, put a QR code there and you just, just pull it out. And when people come by, maybe you have the announcer to announce, you know, check out Jesse's banner over there, order, order a copy of his book, just scan the code and you can, or, you know, just a lot of things you can do at any place that you're going then you can always be promoting your book. So being able to uh, to do that, maybe there's a book expo coming up. In fact, now right now I'm waiting for callbacks. I've called our local mall mm -hmm. to see whether or not I can you know rent a kiosk for the holiday just over the weekend. And I've got one of my staff members that I will probably get out there, go out there and and work Saturday and Sunday promoting the book, promoting the uh, sure. publishing, because guess what people are doing? They're out and they're looking for Christmas gifts. Why not purchase a copy of my book and right. for a perfect gift? Yeah. And another place to do something similar, um, maybe not to actually um, sell, I don't know if they would allow it, but your local libraries, they're always looking for guest speakers. So what a great way to be able to go leave a couple copies at your local library and then see if you can um, do a little seminar, webinar, talk, you know, whatever your book is about and be featured there, do a little book signing and they may allow you to sell books. I'm not sure, but at least you're making those connections and you're getting that visibility uh, uh, once again. Well, that is great. You know, I've used the library on several occasions. In fact, uh, you know, Gwen, uh, we launched her book uh, this year, my wife, uh, which was a bestseller. And uh, we launched it at the library. Right. So we we did a whole program around it. We did sell books there. Uh, you know, she launched her uh, fragrance line. So all that was done at the library. Nice. We had groups of people to show up to participate. And plus it was free space. And again, you know, leaving free copies of the book at the library for them to, with you know, their discretion to add those books as a part of, you know, their library books. Yeah, that's a great idea. And this time of year, uh, there's a lot of holiday tables and 
um, markets, uh, holiday markets. So see if you can sign up and get a table. And um, I don't know pricing on tables, but maybe partner with another author and you guys share the cost of a table and, you know, take either a couple hours each or split the table and, and talk about your books on each side of the table. There's so many ways that you can get um, free or very little uh, investment and get some visibility. And, you know, if you have a book and that book's been out two or three years, do a refresh on your book. Maybe update the, the, the cover. Change the cover on the book. Relaunch the book. Uh, you know, make it as this is my relaunch project. Get it out there. Get new life uh, going to your book. So that's another way that you can restore. If you're an author, you've had a book out there for a long time. You now you can restore that book. Also, who, who are your partners? Who do you know that has a mail list that would be willing to promote your book to their mail list, that particular group? So look out there and find out how many uh, people are, you know, again, I'm a martial artist, so I'm looking at my martial arts community. I'm also, uh, I'm also a minister, so I'm also looking in my Christian groups for my Christian books that I have out there. What group of people that have 50, 100, 200 people on their mail list that you can partner with? Remember, you don't have to do all the heavy lifting because there are people that will partner with you. Absolutely. And start building your own email list. A lot of people say, well, I don't have, a, you know, a big email list. Well, pick up your phone and go into your contacts. And I bet you right there, you could have 200 email um, addresses of people that know, love and trust you. So start there and share, you know, here's my book. If you haven't heard about it, this is what I'm doing. Or what a great way to say, I am offering a special and a certain amount of the money will go to my favorite nonprofit. And this is, you know, so it's, it's a way of starting with the people that you know, and then as you branch out and make more connections, add them to your email list, but make sure that you have their permission. So especially if you're going to use your contacts in, in your phone, reach out, write an email, and make sure there's a place where they can unsubscribe because you can't just spam people. It's not, <laughs> not a great way to make friends. <laughs> um, so if it's not something they want to hear about, then they can get off your list. And if it's someone that they, they want their friends to join, that they can easily share the link and help you build your list. And another, you know, great way to support you is to is your your book is to create deals. Everyone is looking and shopping for a good deal. So maybe with your book, you buy two, you get one free. Right. Or you know, you you know, one of the things we're doing, as I mentioned before, is having a special. You purchase the Chuck Norris book, and you get the Bill Wallace book free or you add a financial discount on there that makes it a good deal because everyone's trying to spend their money in a way that they can get something for everyone. So maybe you reduce the, the cost of your book uh, over a short period of time and you've got this weekend sale and now you promote people through your social media marketing or other marketing campaigns to go back and to uh purchase uh purchase that and of course again you post all that into your social media right and the other thing too is depending on if your book is um you know driving to your business or a certain thing that you do take a couple key points out of your book and make it into a fun little challenge say you're a coach or someone that's encouraging people to make some life changes what if you made some posts and made a five day challenge to help people move forward in whatever that is? Maybe it's health, maybe it's um, getting your time back. 
Maybe it's uh, acknowledging who's in your life. Are they helping you to move forward towards your goals? Or are they trying to hold you back? You know, it can be something super fun, but you're making some awareness. You're getting your face and your book in front of them. And hopefully with making it fun, making it a five day challenge, or, you know, it could be a 30 day challenge if it's just something little that they could do every day. And that way, they're having fun. They're looking forward to the next day and they want to complete it. Maybe you have a free book or two for the people that complete it, put their names in the drawing and pull out a winner and send them your book. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to really make all this happen to uh, promote your book. And if you're listening to our program and you're not an author, you haven't promoted your book or purchased or uh, written a book, then what you need to do, contact us so we can help you brainstorm your idea of how you can become an author in 2024. Now, we have about five or six authors that's going to be releasing before the end of the year. We're going to keep you guys updated on who they are so you, you can get uh, to their books. So Natalie, any, any, and as we wrap up any final things? Yeah, absolutely. So I have a special, um, with my talking journal, we're getting ready to launch. Uh, we are looking for 100 people to be in the very first, uh, my talking journal and the, it's about gratitude. So what a great time of year. And if you have a little message, a story, or something that you can share um, with gratitude, then reach out to me at giftsoflegacy at gmail.com and let's talk about it. Well, that's great, Natalie. You know, I have uh, I have two projects I'm working on wrapping up before the end of the year, which are personal projects. I have a book, it's a Christian book. And the title of it is Don't Procrastinate on God. <laughs> you know, we all <laughs> procrastinate, you know. So it's going to be a really great book. It's written for entrepreneurs. Uh, so it's a, I think it's a good book. It's really a, a book I've helped to help myself move forward on things I was delaying myself on. So I think it's a great book. And I'm working on a book about how to launch your bestseller. So, you know, mm -hmm. I have those projects, you know, coming up and, we got a full year coming up for 2024 of uh, books and authors. We're excited our, about our friends in Australia. Uh, they've got a book coming out. Uh, uh, we have a book coming out for the Canadian Black Belt uh, Association in Canada. And so we just have a lot of really positive things going on. And we'd like for everyone to get a chance to participate Learn about what we do because it's really life changing. It provides opportunity for you to build uh, financial wealth uh, by your book. And when you publish your book, remember that's in your legacy. And so that book stays there forever and ever is passed down to your children, grandchildren, you know, empower the world with your stories or your ideas of, of how to make the world a better place. Yep. We are not guaranteed tomorrow, so don't put it off. Come and talk to us and let us help put your words, your stories, your wisdom together for whether it's just for your family or for the world to enjoy. Well, everyone, this is Jesse Bowen with my partner, Natalie McQueen and Elite Publications and Gifts of Legacy. So remember, check out the website, www elitepublications.org.